Good afternoon, everyone. This is Melissa with the StockSwish.com, and welcome. Welcome to Apple. I thought I would do an earnings preview on Apple. It has earnings out tonight at 4 o'clock. So let's go over it. <clears throat> what do I think Apple's going to do? Well, it's anybody's guess, but I will tell you what it needs to do. I will tell you that if it does this, if it does that, if it does this, if it does that, I mean, I, I, know, I know what it needs to do. Apple is still in a downtrend. I'm sure I'm the only one that sees it that way, but that's the correct read. Okay? Apple is not in an uptrend. It's made a series of higher highs and higher lows, and it doesn't have any meaning. Apple is not back in an uptrend. And no one should be in Apple long unless they've been in it for like the last 10 years. Uh, no one should be in Apple long for a short-term long trade. It's not been a buy for a year, year and a half, for a while. Unless you're in this as a core trade for years, like as an investment or something. But as a regular tr trader, as a swing trade, no one should be in Apple long. Okay, but I'm sure people are. <laughs> Anyways, Apple has one of two things that it's going to do tonight. Well, one of three things, actually. What Apple needs to do tonight, if it's going to go back in uptrend, it needs to do it on the earnings tonight. And that I know, okay? So Apple really didn't do anything on the last earnings. It didn't, it was a nothing gap. It wasn't a play. It was still in a downtrend. It held the downtrend. And it really wasn't a gap that was playable in either direction on the day of the gap in the earnings the last time out in October. So Apple needs to correct itself back in an uptrend tonight, if it really is going to, which means Apple needs to get up over, up to 600. Apple needs to gap right up to 600 tonight. And if Apple does that, it's an immediate buy. It will hold in the sky and rally new highs this year. Apple's too close to, to correction now to not correct itself. That's why I know it must if it's going to recover. So what does that mean? That means if Apple gaps down anywhere, anywhere at all, or is a nothing gap, the overall trend of Apple will stay intact in a downtrend, and it will stay intact, and it will be in a downtrend. It will continue down, and it is in a downtrend, and it will continue in that downtrend and be a continuation gap if it does not gap up to 600 tonight. That's what it must do. There was some article in Yahoo Finance today actually about Apple being more bearish than bullish. It was the first thing I saw in public genre, besides what I'm saying, that that Apple, you know, is not going to recover. Now, again, I'm leaving it out there because Apple could do it tonight, but I but it must. It must, it must, it must, it must, it must. It must do it tonight. This, this is it. Okay? We're in a bullish market despite the fact we traded down the last few days. Okay. Apple didn't perform last year with the market, which did, both in the Qs and the Spies. Apple's been in a downtrend ever since the first gap, and Apple must correct itself. It's too close to the number now here not to do it tonight at 4 o'clock. Apple must gap up to $600 and hold, and if it doesn't, if it gaps down, if it is a nothing gap, if it doesn't gap up to 600 if it doesn't do what it's supposed to do, it's going to continue in the trend that it's in, which is down. So it'll be very interesting to see what's going to happen. I'm very interesting. I, I'll know as soon as I see it. As soon as I see it, I'll know. Okay? Because the trend of Apple is still down. Down. Okay? It doesn't matter that the 200 per moving average here has made a little scoop. It doesn't matter the 50s up or the 20 or the 8. It does not matter. There's so much more to looking at charts. So much more than pivots and moving averages. So much more information. So it'd be really, really interesting to see. I, 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 and the Apple needs to do it if it's going to do it. And if it does, fine. I mean, I'm not invested in this. I'm not short it. I'm long it. I'm nothing in it. But Apple's a buy. You want to buy Apple? It, if it gaps right up here, it's a buy. 600. And if it doesn't, then my overall call on Apple, the longer term call on Apple that I made, the overall call on Apple is still intact. To the downside, targets everything. Everything I've been going over, everything I've been saying, still intact. Because it really has to do it tonight, and there's no more chances for it here now. So that I know. We'll see what Apple does tonight at 4 o'clock. I'll be watching it to see, even though I'm not in it, because I, I love reading charts. I'm very good at reading charts, and I want to see what it does. You know, Apple will make new highs this year if it corrects itself tonight back up to an uptrend. And if it doesn't, Apple will stay in the downtrend and break, and break again and again and again and again and again and again and again. And again. And my overall longer term uh, targets in Apple are all still in play and are in play right now. You know, we'll just have to see what Apple does tonight in the earnings. But it must make the correction tonight if it's going to. And if it doesn't, then anything it does is bearish, basically. 
So this is Melissa with the StockSwish.com. If you'd like to learn how to read gaps, bullish, bearish, if you'd like to learn how to read charts, uh, understand price, technical analysis, candlesticks, all of these things that really affect how you trade and are your ability to be able to make money because you won't profit in the market if you don't know how to read charts right. I know it's fun to read fundamentals and stuff on TV and talk to friends and everything else, but you've got to know how to read prices. It's just a bigger overall stand, uh, understanding of things. It tells you what to do and when to do it and when to get in and when to get out and when to do what you need to do. And what's going on? And remember, trends and things don't stay all the time forever and ever in a certain trend. Apple wasn't going to stay in an uptrend forever. Okay? And it didn't. It broke. Now, if it's going to correct itself, it will very quickly. Here, now, tonight. So just like anything else, Apple was in a downtrend for the last year and a half. It could correct itself back into an uptrend here. Again, things don't last forever, but you do have to know how to read them in real time. It helps you take positions on and take positions off. Timing is important in trading when you trade. It's so important because it has to do with when and how you're making money. This is Melissa with the StockSwish.com. If you'd like more information on the next Golden Gap course, it's February 8th and 9th. Email me at Melissa at the StockSwish.com. We'll look at Apple tomorrow after it gaps up tonight and after it trades, and we'll see what it does. Thanks, everybody. Have a great day.